Hi guys! So it's prom season, as you may all know. So I wanted to bring you a little prom makeup tutorial. Um, a lot of people might get nervous about wanting to do their own prom makeup. It is a big job, um, but it's not as scary as you might think. Um, you can start out with just your normal makeup routine, normal foundation routine. Um, so start out with a clean face and we're going to start out with just whatever foundation you normally use. I'm using just the clean CoverGirl drugstore makeup. <laughs> um, I think you're going to find a lot of this is drugstore makeup. I'm using this in classic ivory and I'm just going to use my hand and kind of cover my whole face and get all the main areas and blend it in. Make sure that you blend it to your neck very clearly because you don't want any lines. Anywhere you missed, just go back and get there. Don't neglect your eyelids. This is what I'm gonna do. That's better. Sorry, it's taking a while. Okay. Um, oh yeah, if you haven't already, apply just any chapstick or moisturizer to your lips because you don't want dry lips. And, um, but the next step actually would be, um, just a concealer. Any one works. And I'm using, again, just a normal drugstore concealer. One that's maybe like a shade down from your normal color would be great because it gives you a good highlight and really makes those areas pop. Um, so you want to put it under your eyes. Um, anywhere that appears like red or dark. Um, so right in here and around my eyes is always red. And here, I'll get to that in a minute after I'm done doing this. And you can just go back in and Blend that out the rest of the way with your finger if you need to. Highlighting and concealing is so important. It really makes the face look set. Um, the next place you're going to conceal is right in the nose, like this little T-zone area. So I'm starting with just the nose, but it'll eventually come up through here. Almost it's kind of like a firework or like a flower or something blooming on your forehead. <laughs> you can just blend that out with your finger again. And the last spot is just my chin. Okay. 
everywhere is nice and set. Um, not set, concealed, what am I saying? But speaking of set, we're gonna set this with um, some powder. I'm using Maybelline Fit Me in color 220. Okay, and here's where it actually starts getting unique because everyone wants a different makeup look for their prom um, to match their dress or fit their face, whatever it is. Um, I'm going to go with like a rosy gold type of thing. And before you start any eyeshadow or anything, an eyeshadow primer is key. Grab that. I'm using Urban Decay, the um, eyeshadow potion. So just make sure to cover your eyelid with that. Keep it all the way up to the brown. There's a fly. All the way up to the brown bone. And then just blend it in. Anywhere that you think there will be eyeshadow, make sure to cover. Wow, this fly is really just loving makeup. It wants brown makeup too. Um, next, we're going to start on the eyeshadow. So, I'm just using this little uh, palette that I got as like a secret star gift in like this play that I did, or musical, last year. And, um... Just start out with like a neutral base color. So any how it works. It's like I'm mixing like a tan and a white together. And just cover it everywhere with that. We start trying to build up to darker colors. I'm gonna use this and this one together. Sorry, they don't have color names. I would. And just start on the outside in circular motions, kind of like that, and sweep in. Not sweep in, but circular motions, building in to the corner, like that. Um, next I'm going to make a cut with this color right here and to do that I'm just going to take this angled brush right here. Um, these work for a lot of things, eyeliner, 
eyebrows, cutting eyeshadow. If you don't know what it means to cut, it means sometimes you'll see on Twitter makeup and stuff like that when there's a line in between the top of your eyelid and the bottom, and it's just like that. Um, just this dark brown color. So basically just draw that line. And I know it looks really harsh right now, but we're just gonna go back in and blend the life out of it. in with that same white color that we had before and just with like my finger um, I'm gonna pack it on to the bottom part of my eyelid more so on the inner side I want to be careful not to mess with the cut you just made Sometimes using your finger is more effective than a brush because it puts on more than brushes do because when you're using the brush, a lot will flake off. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with just this kind of, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like this shimmery pinky color. And just kind of go over. And I think that should probably be good. Um, I'm going to start on eyeliner. I'm just using this Revlon Color Stay um, Black Liquid Liner. And it's a drugstore product, but it's actually the best eyeliner I've ever ever used. Um, it's really great. So a lot of people have a hard time with liquid eyeliner at first, but it actually is not that difficult once you get started. So I make sure that my arm is always stable on something. Right now I'm using a bottle of Listerine and I'm just steadying my elbow on it. Um, okay, and Start at like the middle of your eyelid and here I'm going to turn up the brightness, sorry, and just make a fluid line coming out. Okay, overall that's how your eyeliner will come out and if it messes up at all, that's totally fine. Um, you can always go back with like a Q-tip or something and just um, like lick it and wipe it off and it'll be fine and just uh, fix the little lines. Um, for the record, it's really hard to film and do eyeliner apparently, so I'm going to go back and do the other eye really quick. Okay, I'm back. So that's about the finished product. If you see anything you don't like the way it came out, you can always go back and try to fix it.
Um, but don't be afraid to do a big wing or um, thick eyeliner because it's prom. Go big or go home and most likely you'll have on big eyelashes with it um, to where a big wing won't even be a big deal. Um, next, I'm just going to, even though we already finished eyeshadow, I think I, I'm going to go back and put a little bit of this like, of this shimmery white um, Sephora, it's Aspen Summit, um, just to give it a little bit of shimmer. I'm going to put it in where the white is, just so it pops a little bit more. I got it in my eye, I'm sorry. Ah, okay. Make sure that does not happen again. And I'm going to go back and do that on the other side. And blend that out. You can go in and put some in the corners of your eyes if you'd like. Just gives you like a dewy kind of look. Um, okay, and now that we have eyeliner and everything done, um, I'm gonna go for eyelashes. I have these. Normally for prom, you kind of want bolder eyelashes. Um, so. I have these more natural ones, or these, um, yeah, these kind of overpower your face, but I'm just going to go for it. They are, hmm, it doesn't say any name for them, but I'm just going to take some eyelash glue if you don't know how to apply eyelashes. Today's your lucky day. Um, you can just measure and match it up with the side of your eye that it goes with, like the part that flips up, like your eyelashes. You can see like this one gets bigger at this end, like this side, so it'll go with my left eye and the other one will with my right eye. So you take the eyelash and the glue and you just squeeze a little bit on the entire lash line and make sure that the corners are covered as well so that you don't have it peeling off the corners throughout the night. And now just make sure it's lined up across the short side and the long side. You might need to be very close up to a mirror doing this. Um, that's the only reason I just walked away. Um, they're not difficult to put on. It just takes close attention. So, here you go, that's what they look like on. It's a pretty dramatic difference between one side and the other. Um, yeah. And now we will repeat with this side. And we can go through and fix the corner with some eyeliner and mascara. Okay, 
like with eyeliner or anything else, there always will be the one eye that comes out better. So it's that for me. Um, so if there's any touch-ups you need to make, you can go back and do those. I'm just going to touch up this little corner right here. I just added a little bit of eyeliner so it evened it out some. And now I'm going to take some mascara to the bottom. Okay. And now we're going to go back to doing face makeup. She got on hand. I'm just using a little blush brush. So you just get all the little areas. And now some blush. I'm using the Naked Flush Palette. And that was also the bronzer I used, by the way. I just put my finger in and cut with that. Um, I'm just gonna blend mainly blush and put a little bit of the highlight in there and just very lightly with sweeping motions using that as my blush and this all really sets the face together puts the face together I mean. Now for social media's most favorite popular part right now, highlight. Um, I'm just going to go through this middle part of the Naked palette again and go in on my the upper part of my cheekbone and just dab it on there. And for it to be even stronger, just use my finger and maybe swipe it there. And we'll definitely go back and blend that. Just use any kind of big fluffy brush for blending that. And now just again with this thin little brush, um, take the same highlight and dust the tip of your nose. Back and forth and lightly down your nose a couple times. And now for the lips. So in case your lip balm dried, just go ahead and moisturize again. I'm just using like a cucumber melon EOS. Um, And 
And then, definitely any lipstick that you'd like. I'm gonna go with, I just have all these old little palettes laying around and some of them have like lipstick in them. This is like an e.l.f. one that my sister gave me a long time ago. It um, has this lipsticks in it. So I'm gonna go in with this. You can always swatch things on your hands to see if they're gonna look great. Um, I'm trying this pink one out. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use this dusty pink one right here. You can really use whatever you'd like. I think with this, a matte lip would look great if you have that. And I also could show a DIY way of making your own matte lipstick. If you just have any kind of translucent powder or um, like face setting powder over your lipstick and then um, like blot your lips again, it'll make it matte. So that is the finished look. I hope you all have a blast at your proms and you will look absolutely stunning. I'll see you all later.